Okay, hey YouTube, my YouTube family. Um, I'm doing a live broadcast. I'm not sure how I'm going to do my Facebook, but I'm thinking why record pre record videos and then put them up when I can shoot a live video? I can come on at random times. If people are on there, um, They'll join me. If not, then I'll do a live broadcast just as if I'm doing a video and i um, going to post it later. So the thing with the live broadcast is there's no editing. So um, it's all raw footage. And uh, so here we go. So, of course, today um, I have here on the screen... Um, Gabaray Sidibe, Gabaray Sidibe, um, beautiful name, a beautiful woman. Um, I love her pizzazz and her, um, I love her personality. She has um, spunk. I like that. I definitely like that. Um, and she doesn't seem, she seems to be, you know, made of, of, of um t tough tough stuff you know like the things that the public say don't really get her down which is um something that you know is good to see you know all right but uh here i am um like on my facebook and things like that i see a lot of people mentioning her and just stating you know how she shouldn't be doing um, sex scenes on TV because she is a overweight woman and uh, therefore she couldn't possibly be sexy. So why would she be doing a sex scene? Well, I'm here to tell you, probably nobody should be doing a sex scene on TV, but um, if the rest of them couldn't do it, why can't she, right? So um, everybody's talking about that and, you know, how this is just, to them, it just wasn't whatever. I don't know. Like, I, to me, I, it didn't really, I didn't even see, like, the scene was only about two seconds. I mean, really, y'all? But um, anyway, it was like the big talk around, you know, the big talk around town um was about her and how she threw her leg up and people was like ill and some people was like get it girl and all of that stuff <laughs> and i'm just like do your thing whatever you know at the end of the day um that's her profession and that's what she do that's what she cho that's what she has chosen to do um with her life and that's her choice uh but what I wanted to um, really point out here was everybody busy talking about what this woman looked like and what she should and shouldn't be doing because of her size um, and how she looked. But I rarely hear anybody speak about um, her quality of life. Um, you know, I think we forget, you know, I, I believe... Um, Gabare is about, she's in her 20s, mid to late 20s, I believe. <sighs> we don't even discuss her quality of life and, you know, what all of this weight that she's carrying around might mean for her. But nonetheless, um, she has created a career out of being a, you know, being cast as a fat black woman, you know. Um, so now the question is, if she does lose the weight, will she still have a career? Um, this is something for her to think about. But I, if it, uh, if if, I mean, I don't think it should be top concern because I mean, if if you continue to carry around, you know, this much weight, of course, at some point you're not going to be able to enjoy the um you're not going to be able to enjoy the money that you're making because you're going to be paying it all to doctors and things like that. Um, yes, there are some fat people who never um, have to worry or never had uh, 
any kind of illness related to their um related to being overweight but let's face it you know um your body is your body is a, a magnificent machine so you know the more weight you put on it of course the more um the more stress and strain you are um you're subjecting yourself to anyway my point is everybody's talking about what she looks like and what she should and shouldn't be doing but um i'm trying to figure out this is a woman with considerable means you know obviously and she has access to things that a lot of other, a lot of us don't have access to and um i'm assuming she could like she could eat whatever she wants she could have a personal trainer she could go to the gym um she could you know she could have time she has time to um work on herself at some point you know i mean yes yeah, she she works she acts and has careers and movies and shows but in between those shows and things i'm sure she has time where she could possibly uh she could work out and she could adopt a, a better lifestyle but she doesn't why oh come here okay go in here with sissy go with sissy go see what she's gonna take out a remote she's looking for that remote he got the remote mm -hmm. oh okay yeah so um you know these are the things that puzzle me but i think it's more so that um among um within you know the black community being overweight is is more more or less normalized and it's even to the point where i mean being a little thick is one thing but this is not a little thick she is way beyond you know a little thick um you know she's way beyond a little sick so um this is you know where do we start to address you know um the quality of life or how how a quality of life may be affected so <laughs> Yeah. Oh. oh, get his um thing out of here. Put it on his. Uh -huh. I know. You took a nice thing to wash up, right? You all clean now? And you full. Look at your stomach. All that stuff you ate. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Oh, no, she gotta put your put your diaper on now. Stop it. Yeah, and then okay. Yeah, close that door. Give him his toy. He'll find out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's live too. So the people is live. <laughs> you could go ahead and yeah, take him in here. So as y'all know, um I'm at home, of course. I have um uh, a baby a baby boy so that's who you hear he's getting ready for bed <laughs> eight o'clock so he's a little um antsy but we gonna get we gonna get that now so um yeah my point in making this video was just to address that you know people don't people really need to um. We need to we need to look at our culture.
<laughs> okay. So um <laughs> oh my god. It's other stuff that I want to address too up here on YouTube. Well, I got the live thing. So I got the the um the um the um city city bay uh sex scene. Okay, it's not a big deal. That's not what we should be worried about. That's her um profession. That's what she has signed up for, I guess. So that's that. I mean, I, I don't see anything wrong with um with somebody doing a sex scene because they're fat. Like, I mean, so if she was if she was slim and in shape, that would be okay because everybody would want to look at that. Um, but I guess people find it offensive for some reason. Y'all need to go ahead with that. But I do agree that um, City Bay could afford to start losing weight. And I think she needs to, actually. But um, of course, that's it's her life, you know. So she can, she she has to make that decision herself. Um, and of course, she's in the public eye, so the public can does the the public can speak speak what they feel also. Now, do she have to follow it? No, of course not. But I mean, we are entitled to our opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. My opinion is um, the reason why people are attacking her seems wrong to me. I mean, yes, she's overweight, but that doesn't mean she shouldn't have um, she shouldn't have a sex scene because she's overweight. I mean, if that's the case, nobody should be doing sex scenes personally. That's my uh, personal opinion. But um, I do agree that yeah she could afford to she she should be losing weight she should be trying to get her weight under control because i mean i don't she don't look comfortable to me i just don't I, she don't look comfortable to me that's the thing like i don't see i don't see her being comfortable you know i'm not really sure cuz i'm not around her but she don't look comfortable like and she's a beautiful girl. You know, she's a really beautiful girl. <clears throat> All right, so enough with that story. Um, so uh, I also wanted to segue into um, the point where, as a Black community, we are losing a lot of people due to lifestyle and diet. Um, what people are eating, how they're eating, and um, whether they're, you know, they're not, not being physically active, not really um, taking their health into their own hands. Health insurance is only, really health insurance is you taking care of your health. Uh, the stuff that you pay for at the hospital and things like that, I mean, maybe your your annual checkups and stuff, okay. But um, health insurance should not be used as a curative measure. Um, it should be used as a last resort. You should be doing things on the daily basis to take care of your health. Um, and that's that's where it starts on the day. That's where health insurance starts is what you do day to day to take care of your health. Not not what you're doing, um, not paying for some insurance. So when you get sick and you know you're gonna get sick because you're not doing nothing to not get sick, you just let your health basically take care of itself while you eat whatever, whatever come, whatever you want, whatever you can afford, I guess, whatever, um, whatever you want, you know, um, and you don't even consider what the consequences may be or how you could live a better life. And you know what? Maybe it's not about you. Maybe maybe Gabrielle uh, Sidibe losing weight. Maybe it's maybe it's not about her. Maybe it's not about her losing weight. <clears throat> maybe it's about the effect that she's gonna have around on the people around her um, by losing the weight. You know, um, I'm sure she has a mother. I'm sure she has family that loves her, you know, all of this weight that she's carrying around, 
it ha it's, it's affecting her body. Um, it's, I mean, high blood pressure, diabetes, um, heart disease, all of these things are being overweight puts you at a higher risk for those things. Um, so that's something that her family, the ones that love her and want her to live long and have a lasting career and have a successful, um, meaningful quality of life would probably also agree and probably, you know, at some point encourage her to lose weight. I think the problem is that her weight is now connected to her money and Hollywood and the rest of <laughs> the rest of the entertainment in industry is basically casting her as the fat black woman. Um, and that's how she, that's the roles that she gets to play. Now, the roles that she's playing are not necessarily fat black woman roles. Like, I mean, anybody could be a secretary. Anybody, I mean, that's what she's playing right now in the, um, in the uh, empire. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what she's playing now. So, I mean, that's not necessarily a role that a fat black woman had to fill or, you know, but she does have, she does own her roles. I will give her that. She owns them and she is a, a good actor. I will tell you that. Yes, she has skills um, and she's making it work for her, you know, so that's, that's good. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, yes, for the people who love her, the people who care, um, I'm sure that they would love for her to lose a few, a few pounds and live a healthier life and possibly add more long, longevity to her career um, by doing so. And the kind of actor she is, I'm pretty sure even if she lost weight, she would she would be cast in roles because she's making the roles as she go along. Let me tell you, because the roles that she played, anybody could have played them. It wasn't like, I mean, she gave those roles life. OK, she gave them life. It wasn't that the role was, you know, it, she gave them life. She made those characters come alive and those characters. Characters could have been fat, skinny. She could have been slim. She, whatever it was, she made those characters come alive. She's funny, and she she has something. She has a, a twinkle in her eye. Okay. So um, anyway, so let me go ahead and and go with um uh, with what my program is here. Tomorrow's eleven eleven. Um, I'm harnessing this energy. I'm gonna take it and um put it into my new health regimen, you know, I've been slowly starting my new health regimen, um, drinking my, my detox tea, um, taking, um, uh, my multi, my liquid multivitamins that are, um, 98% absorption rate. And I've been taking my little, um, energy, energy pills and stuff. And I got me a gym membership and I'm about to rock it out this month. You know, last month I had started but right in the middle of, or right, right after I started my regiment, um, I had a family member that you know was in, went to the ICU, and and I, I kind of lost track of what I was doing, you know, trying to take care of them and take care of everything. But um, now that situation's under control, so I'm going full blast on my regiment, um, getting everything in order, setting everything up. I got my juicer, I got my um my bullet. I got um, my salad recipes here. Tomorrow I'm getting out. I'm going shopping. Um, I'm going to go to the Whole Foods store. Um, I'm going to go to the farmer's market. And um, yeah, I'm going I'm, I'm to get, get my program lined up, get my groceries. Because what I find is when I don't have, um, you know, the proper food that that I need to eat for my diet, I'm more likely to eat stuff that I shouldn't be eating, you know. And when I have those things readily available to me, I eat them. You know, if I have a salad in the refrigerator, I'll grab that. I love fresh vegetables. I love um, fresh 
you know, I love just, I love juice, um, kale and, you know, um, spinach and apple and, you know, all of that stuff. So, um, actually it's better than the, the, the junk food that I might eat. You know, I'd rather sip on, you know, some fresh juiced apples or some, some, fr a fresh green drink, you know? So um, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be kicking that up into high speed. I'm going to harness the power of 1111 um, and take that and um, also sit down with myself and meditate and try to um, perhaps <clears throat> make, um, make that something that I do every day with my, my little meditation. But I'm going to start a new one on 1111. Um, harnessing that. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do a video every day um, for this month. Uh, this will also be a way of keeping track of what I'm doing. Um, also, like holding myself um, to a certain accountability and also kind of bringing my uh, YouTube family into um, what I'm doing so that perhaps someone might also see, um, somebody might also resonate with what I'm doing and maybe they might want to join me and maybe we could support each other in this um, becoming healthier as uh, black women um, or as just women in general. I mean, this is not just a black woman thing, but women in general, you know, we have children, we have families, um, we have goals. We have people that love us and we need to do everything in our power to make sure that we are, that we are healthy and um, able to live a high quality life and to be that example to those around us. Um, as women, we, we need to be examples to those around us. We need to. Um, if you're looking at other people, you're looking at society you in, and you're complaining, look back at yourself and ask what kind of example have you set? And, and then if you don't see the example that you set being reflected out into society, or if you don't like what is um, being reflected into society, then change the example that you're putting out there. Become something else. Do something else. Just like um, ratchetness, you know, has taken hold and became popular. Well, guess what? That's because that was being represented over and over and over again to the point where it did, you know, become um, become popular, become something ubiquitous, kind of like you see it all on Facebook and whatever. And then people think that stuff is funny, so they kind of pass it around. But um, the buck stops here. The buck stops with you. You know, you um, you have to be, you have to, you have to set a different example. You have to let um, people see that it's another way to live life. You don't have to live life um, from that perspective and that view. Now, um, and, you know, so, hey, that's, that's what, that's what I'm, I'm channeling right now. You know, if you, you want to change, you make that change. If you don't, don't complain about what you see around you. Don't, don't offer up any complaints. Don't get mad because, you know, don't get mad if, if, if you're not treated in a proper way or your loved ones are not treated in a proper way or what have you. Because you're not, you're not being that example. You're not setting that standard for, um, for yourself. Um, let's see what else I wanted to talk about. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just going through things, just looking through, you know, my Facebook on my phone and just going through that. But yeah, so I'm going to be starting that challenge on 11, 11. I'm going to, um, do my weight loss challenge. I'm going to kick this into high gear and I'm going to take it to the next level. You know, I'm going to do my grocery shopping. I'm going to try to record that. I'm going to take pictures, you know, before and after pictures, have my daughter take some pictures with me. Um, and I'm, I'm going to really commit to this, you know, 
And so, and yeah, anyway, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, stop it there, I think. And let that be the reason. Let me see what's on my Facebook. I might want to discuss this. <clears throat> hey. Um, as time go on, of course, you guys, my YouTube, I'm gonna, you know, be coming with better things, more content and things like that. I'm just starting out, so I'm trying to get comfortable with talking on the camera basically to myself because that's kind of like what this feels like. <laughs> So I'm, I'm trying to get comfortable with that. Usually my mind draws a blank <laughs> as soon as the camera come on. I'm like, um, and then if I do like really get into myself and start, you know, really just coming from, you know, coming fluidly, it's like I always go back and delete those videos because they're a little bit too personal. So <laughs> I'm trying to find that balance. So I'm trying to find that balance. and. Um, you know, just bear with me, you know, just bear with me. Like I said, for, um, for this month, start from 11, 11 to 12, to 12, 11, I'm going to be, um, trying to post at least one video a day, if not more, but at least one video a day. And, um, I might even write down my topics ahead of time of what I'm going to talk about and just go from there, like just have a, a sounding, um, a sounding board of, you know, things that I want to talk about in the videos. Or just tell you what my experience was with my weight loss um, challenge and sticking with my goals and what have you. So I'm sitting here reading this little article here. And the article says, hmm, let me see here. Oh, I hate posts like this. All right, let me see. I gotta listen to listen to the um, thing. I thought I could read it, but I can't. So um, here it is. Yesterday, I posted a picture. I hope you guys can hear it. Uh, he sent me a, I guess, an image from his history book about Africans coming over as workers. And so a lot of people ask me about the book and who the publisher was. And so he has a copy of the book at home. Uh, we are in Texas. Um, and so this is a part of the Texas textbook adoption. Um, so I'm gonna show you the book and then there's just an interesting section where they sort of place the map. I think it's interesting. So the book is, I'm gonna turn the camera around. The book is uh, this book by McGraw-Hill. This is World Geography. You see, that's the, uh, the publisher's McGraw Hill. Then on the inside of the book, just a little scary to me, you have all of these people who are seemingly wise people. All of them have that little PhD behind their name. And these are the academic consultants for this book. And then here are the reviewers and consultants. Um, that on there for a while in case y'all want to find these people. Got some plenty of Texas people who have that. Yeah. And then there's the Texas Advisory Board. So again, these are all people, all professionals who said yes to this book. Okay, I hope y'all so listen to this. The section um, that we find, I'm not still getting some uh, tape. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Is under this section called patterns of immigration. Patterns of immigration. He sees as one of the defining attributes of the United States is that it is largely a country of immigrants and their descendants. About 13% of the people in the United States are foreign born, while Native Americans, Alaska Natives, and Native Hawaiians make up 2% of the population. The remaining population is descended from immigrants. Immigrants, yeah. That word matters, immigrants. The Atlantic slave trade between the 1500s and the 1800s brought millions of workers 
from Africa to the southern United States to work on agricultural plantations. So it is now considered immigration. And these are some other sections that sort of talk about the pattern of immigration. This section here in particular talks about uh, English and European peoples, many of whom came as indentured servants to work for little or no pay. So they say that about um, English and European people, but there is no mention of Africans working as slaves or being slaves. It just says we were workers. So um, that's for you all who asked about this book. Again, it is World Geography by McGraw Hill. Okay. So that was a little thing that I was uh, listening to. <sighs> Good morning. Map in. Is under this section called Patterns of Immigration. Patterns of Immigration. You see, it says one of the defining attributes of the United States is that it is largely a country of immigrants and their descendants. About 13% of the people in the United States are foreign born, while Native Americans, Alaska Natives, and Native Hawaiians make up 2% of the population. The remaining population is descended from immigrants. Immigrants. Yeah, that, that word matters. Immigrants. The Atlantic slave trade between the 1500s and the 1800s brought millions of workers from Africa to the southern United States to work on agricultural plantations. So it is now considered immigration. And these are some other sections that sort of talk about the pattern of immigration. This section here in particular talks about uh, English and European peoples, many of whom came as indentured servants to work for little or no pay. So they say that about um, English and European people, but there is no mention of Okay, that's interesting. Um, that is really interesting. So <clears throat> we do need to be teaching our children about our history because um, if you haven't realized already, um, school is not necessarily the venue um, for that if your children going to public school or what have you. So, yeah. Um, so I just thought that was interesting. I wanted to listen to that for a minute because I wanted to see what they were talking about. Um, so now that I understand what they're talking about, um, basically I'm not really shocked. I'm not at all shocked actually. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure most people realize that school is not, is not gonna teach children um, especially African American children, uh, their history. They're not going to teach them about their ancestors and their history and things like that. So, I mean, that's the parent has to do that, or the society or the community has to do that. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so, we go to the next topic. So um, that's also as part of my regiment. Not only will I be um, doing my uh, changing my eating habits and also going to the gym, I will also be um, I will also be doing my tea, which is my um, ISO tea, and I will be doing my uh, Nutriverse, which is my vitamins. And I will be doing my, uh, I will be doing my, I will be taking my NRG. So I will be taking my ISO tea, which is a detoxing tea. You can check out my other videos and you'll see. That's my grandmother up there. Um, yeah, that's my grandmother up there. And um, so, yeah, I'll be taking my ISO tea. And that's a detoxing tea. Um, which is also a weight loss aid. I will be taking my Nutrivitamins, which is uh, their liquid vitamins. Um, 
and it's a full spectrum vitamin so it has everything you need in that in that one um, vitamin I will also be taking my um, to chewy which is uh, spirulina powder I'll be taking that um, most times I just take the capsules but um, when I juice or make a smoothie, I might pop the capsule open and put it in there, depending on how I like the taste. <clears throat> and I have my NRG, which is my um, energy supplement. So I got my energy. I got my, um, my um, superfood, which is the spirulina powder. I got my detox tea, and I got my vitamins. So um, I'm going to be going hard. I'm going to be going hard. And um, I'm hoping for, I'll say, I'll say a 20 pound release from 11, 11 to 12, 11 is pretty good. That's 30 days, 20 pound release in 30 days. I think I, I think that's doable. I think that's doable. So we're going to see what happens. It, it might be more, who knows? So um, I'm not going to show it now today. But I am going to tape myself on the scale. I'm going to um, weigh myself. I'm going to show the camera on the scale. And then on the day of 12, 11, I'm going to show the scale again with myself on it. And I'm going to have the both of them together, both of those videos spliced together so you can see the before and the after. Or I might have two videos up, one with the before and one with the after. Um, I also have, uh, we'll take pictures. I'm going to take pictures before and then we'll take pictures after, but you're not going to be able to see the before pictures until, um, until, uh, 12, 11. So that's the, that's the thing. So, um, but every day I'm going to do a blog on a blog on, my uh regiment what i did what i stuck to how long i was at the gym and what kind of activities i did on a daily basis uh so that's what i'm going to be doing y'all and um if you want to join me or if you want to support me um you can do that by liking my videos um commenting subscribing um or you could also do the same regimen with me. Um, I can go ahead and send you out some of uh, some of the things that I'm using. We can go ahead and get you some out detox tea and what have you, and we can do it together and you know support each other along the way. So um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Uh, yep. So thank you for um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, please uh, like the video if you like it. If you um, or comment, give me a comment. Um, I appreciate that. Just let me know somebody's out there, somebody's watching, um, and what else? Um, pretty much that's it. Subscribe, yeah. Subscribe to the channel. That would be excellent too. Um, and let me know what you want what you would like me to um, do on the channel. Let me know what you what what kind of content you're looking for and um, how you feel about weight loss and how um, weight is affecting you, you know, and what you think about about um Sidibi. Sidibi. Every time I say her name I say Sidibi, but it's Sidibi. So um, what you think about Sidibi? and all of that all of that so just let me know comment below and uh i'm gonna get back at you have a good one anyway it was like the big talk around you know the big talk around town um was about her and how she threw her leg up and people was like ill and some people was like get it girl and all of that stuff <laughs> and i'm just like do your thing, whatever, you know, at the end of the day, um, that's her profession and that's what she do. That's what she, that's what she has chosen to do, um, with her life and that's her choice. Uh, but what I wanted to, um, really point out here was everybody busy talking about what this woman looked like and what she should and shouldn't be doing because of her size.
um, and how she looked. But I rarely hear anybody speak about um, her quality of life. Um, you know, I think we forget, you know, I, I believe um, Gabor Gabor is about, she's in her 20s, mid to late 20s, I believe. <sighs> we don't even discuss her quality of life and, you know, what all of this weight that she's carrying around might mean for her. But nonetheless, um, she has created a career out of being a, you know, being cast as a fat girl. I'm getting out. I'm going shopping. Um, I'm going to go to the Whole Food store. Um, I'm going to go to the farmers market, and um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get get my program lined up, get my groceries. Because what I find is when I don't have um, you know the proper food that that I need to eat for my diet, I'm more likely to eat stuff that I shouldn't be eating, you know? And when I have those things readily available to me, I eat them, you know? If I have a salad in the refrigerator, I'll grab that. I love fresh vegetables. I love um, fresh, you know, I love just, I love juice, um, kale and, you know, um, spinach and apple and, you know, all of that stuff. So. Um, actually, it's better than the, the the junk food that I might eat. You know, I'd rather sip on, you know, some fresh juiced apples or some some fr a fresh green drink. You know, so um, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be kicking that up into high speed. I'm going to harness the power of 1111 um, and take that and um, also sit down with myself and meditate and try to. Um, perhaps make um, make that something that I do every day with my, my little meditation, but I'm going to start. She's a really beautiful girl. <clears throat> All right, so enough with that story. Um, so uh, I also wanted to segue into um, the point where as a Black community, we are losing a lot of people due to lifestyle and diet, um, what people are eating, how they're eating, and um, whether they're, you know, they're not, not being physically active, not really um, taking their health into their own hands. Health insurance is only, really health insurance is you taking care of your health. Uh, the stuff that you pay for at the hospital and things like that. I mean, maybe your your annual checkups and stuff. Okay, but um, health insurance should not be used as a curative measure. Um, it should be used as a last resort. You should be doing things on the daily basis to take care of your health, um, and that's that's where it starts. On the day, that's where health insurance start is what you do day to day to take care of your health. Not that's not what you're doing, um, not paying for some insurance. So when you get sick and you know you want to get sick, when I have those things readily available to me, I eat them. You know, if I have a salad in the refrigerator, I'll grab that. I love fresh vegetables. I love um, fresh. You know, I love just I love juice. Um, kale and, you know, um, spinach and apple and, you know, all of that stuff. So um, actually it's better than the, the, the junk food that I might eat. You know, I'd rather sip on, you know, some fresh juiced apples or some, some fr a fresh green drink, you know? So um, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be kicking that up into high speed. I'm going to harness the power of 1111 um, and take that and um, also sit down with myself and meditate and try to um, perhaps <clears throat> make um, make that something that I do every day with my, my little meditation. But I'm going to start a new one on 1111, um, harnessing that. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do a video every day um, for this month. Uh, this will also be a way of keeping track of what I'm doing. Um, also, 
like holding myself um, to a certain accountability and also kind of bringing my uh, YouTube family into um, what I'm doing. So that's so that's the that's the thing. So, um, but every day I'm gonna do a blog on a vlog on my uh, regiment, what I did, what I stuck to, how long I was at the gym, and what kind of activities I did on a daily basis. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be doing, y'all. And um, if you wanna join me, or if you wanna support me, um, you can do that by liking my videos, um, commenting, subscribing, um, or you could also do the same regimen with me. Um, I can go ahead and send you out some of, some of the things that I'm using. We can go ahead and get you some out, detox tea and what have you. And we can do it together and, you know, support each other along the way. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Uh, Yep. So thank you for um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, please uh, like the video if you like it. If you um, or comment, give me a comment. Um, I appreciate that. Just let me know somebody's out there, somebody's watching, um, and what else. Um, pretty much that's it. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. That would be, you know, a little thick. Um, you know, she's way beyond a little thick. So, um, this is, you know, where do we start to address, you know, um, the quality of life or how how her quality of life may be affected? So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. oh, get his um, thing out of there. Put it on his. Uh -huh. I know. You took a nice thing to wash up, right? You all clean now? And you full. Look at your stomach. All that stuff you ate. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> But, no, she gotta put your put the diaper on now. Stop it. Get, yeah, and then okay. Yeah, close that door. Give him his toy. He'll find that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's live too. So the people is live. <laughs> you could go ahead and yeah, take him in here. So as y'all know, um, I'm at home, of course which is my um, ISO tea. And I will be doing my uh, Nutriverse, which is my vitamins. And I will be doing my, uh, I will be doing my, I will be taking my NRG. So I will be taking my ISO tea, which is a detoxing tea. You can check out my other videos and you'll see. That's my grandmother up there. Um, yeah, that's my grandmother up there. And um, so, yeah, I'll be taking my ISO tea, and that's a detoxing tea, um, which is also a weight loss aid. I will be taking my NutriVitamins, which is uh, their liquid vitamin, um, and it's a full spectrum vitamin, so it has everything you need in that, in that one um, vitamin. I will also be taking my um, Tachui which is uh, spirulina powder. I'll be taking that. Um, most times I just take the capsules, but um, when I juice or make a smoothie, I might pop the capsule open and put it in there, depending on how I like the taste. <clears throat> and I have my NRG, which is my um, energy supplement. So I got my energy. I got my, um, my, um, Superfood, which is the spirulina powder. I got my detox tea, and your annual checkups and stuff. Okay, but um, health insurance should not be used as a curative measure. Um, it should be used as a last resort. You should be doing things 
on the daily basis to take care of your health. Um, and that's that's where it starts on the day. That's where health insurance starts is what you do day to day to take care of your health. Not that's not what you're doing. Um, not paying for some insurance. So when you get sick and you know you're going to get sick because you're not doing nothing to not get sick, you just let your health basically take care of itself while you eat whatever, whatever, come, whatever you want, whatever you can afford, I guess, whatever, um, whatever you want, you know, um, and you don't even consider what the consequences may be or how you could live a better life. And you know what? Maybe it's not about you. Maybe maybe Gabrielle uh, Sidibe losing weight. Maybe it's maybe it's not about her. Maybe it's not about her losing weight. <clears throat> maybe it's about the effect that she's gonna have around on the people around her um, by losing the weight. You know, um, I'm sure she has a mother. I'm sure she has family that loves her. You know, all of this weight that she's carrying around, it ha- it's it's affecting her body. Um, it is one thing, but this is not a little thick. She is way beyond, you know, a little thick. Um, you know, she is way beyond a little thick. So, um, this is, you know, where do we start to address, you know, um, the quality of life or how how her quality of life may be affected? So, yeah. Oh, oh, get his um thing out of here. Put him on his. Uh huh. I know. You took a nice thing to wash up, right? You all clean now, and you full. Look at your stomach. All that stuff you ate. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> no, she gotta put your put the diaper on now. What a boy! Stop it! Get, yeah, and then okay, yeah. Close that door. Give him his toy. He'll find out. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. It's live too. So the people, it's live. <laughs> You could go ahead and yeah, take a minute, you know, be coming with better things, more content and things like that. I'm just starting out, so I'm trying to get comfortable with talking on the camera basically to myself because that's kind of like what this feels like. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to get comfortable with that. Usually my mind draws a blank <laughs> as soon as the camera come on. I'm like, um, and then if I do like really get into myself and start you know, really just coming from, you know, coming fluidly. It's like, I always go back and delete those videos because they're a little bit too personal. So (laughs) I'm trying to find that balance. So I'm trying to find that balance and, um, you know, just bear with me, you know, just bear with me. Like I said, for, um, for this month, start from 11, 11 to 12, to 12, 11, I'm going to be um, trying to post at least one video a day, if not more, but at least one video a day. And um, I might even write down my topics ahead of time of what I'm going to talk about and just go from there, like just have a, a sounding um, a sounding board of you know things that I want to talk about in the videos. Or just tell you what my experience was with my weight loss um, challenge and sticking with my goals and what have you. Uh, English and European peoples, many of whom came as indentured servants to work for little or no pay. So they say that about um, English and European people, but there is no mention of... Oh, that's interesting. Um, That is really interesting. So we do need to be teaching our children about our history because um, if you haven't realized already, um, school is not necessarily the venue um, for that. 
if your children are going to public school or what have you. So, yeah. Um, so I just thought that was interesting. I wanted to listen to that for a minute because I wanted to see what they were talking about. Um, so now that I understand what they're talking about, um, basically, I'm not really shocked. I'm not at all shocked, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure most people realize that school is not is not going to teach children, um, especially African American children, uh, their history. They're not going to teach them about their ancestors and their history and things like that. So, I mean, that's the parent has to do that, or the society 